Have you tried to bend and you just can't make it work? Maybe you have a few holes that you can bend, but there's just one or two that just refuse to budge. Well, don't stress on this any longer. In this video, I will show you how to bend in a way that you will be able to really follow and easily understand. So let's discuss. Hey friends, Jonah Fox here with the Harmonica Revolution. I help harp players just like you learn how to master this tiny instrument one lesson at a time. So let's get back into bending today. The basics are pretty simple. You probably know them already. On the draw notes in the low end of your harp, you have some pitches that are hidden inside bends. And you get these bends by doing, well, something in your mouth. If you do it right, you get this. And you really can't play harmonica in a full way without getting those bends. So we got to get them down. So what's actually happening here? Let me break it down for you. It all comes down to your tongue. And yes, this is the same concept no matter what armature you're using. On tongue blocking, your tongue is going to be touching the comb, and if you do puckering or the deep relaxed armateur, your tongue's just gonna be back in your mouth, but it's still doing the moving that's causing the bends. Some of the graphics I'm gonna show you today come from a cool MRI study on bending that the great David Barrett did from bluesharmonica.com. I will link his study down below in the description. So here's what you do. You take your tongue and you hump it up like that, okay? You can practice it by saying E. Try it. E, 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 E. When you do that, your tongue is going to hump up. And that hump in your tongue is just like what happens when you bend. Let's take a look at that MRI. I know it's a little weird, but in the picture, do you see how there are two chambers of air now? There's one in the front and one in the back. When you make a bend, you are making the same shape, you're just moving the position around until you hit that sweet spot where your mouth is tuned to your note. It's a strange concept, and you won't really get it until you actually do. It's kind of like a slide whistle. You know how you pull the slide back and the pitch changes? Just like that. Once you find that spot, if you move your tongue back, like moving it back like a wave or maybe even collapsing it in in certain cases, your note is going to bend. We'll look at the MRI again in a second, but would you do me a favor and click the like button? It helps this video spread to more people, and if you're new, consider subscribing. Thanks. Okay, let's look. This is a normal three draw. Now the picture changes here and we get a half step bend. You see how the tongue changes? Now a whole step bend. Now one and a half steps. The tricky part is you may not know how to move your tongue like this. Here's what you can do to practice. You can look in the mirror and place your tongue on your bottom row of teeth, okay? like that, and then you can practice moving it backwards and forwards and try to get a better sense of how your tongue is moving inside your mouth. So you're doing something like this. Okay, try that. I think you'll get a lot more comfortable with this. After that, try saying different syllables when you are inhaling. You can try coo first. And to get that half step bend, maybe shh will work or maybe key. If you try this on holes with multiple pitches, essentially holes two and three, if you say different syllables, you might hit different pitches. This is all gonna happen with a lot of experimentation on your end. And if that doesn't work, try whistling, but do it on an inhale. It's a strange concept, I know, but that suction-like feeling may trigger a bend. Once you get your notes to bend and move just a little bit, you can use an app like Harmonica Bending Trainer, which is totally free, to give you a visual reference as you practice. I made a video on this app and I will link it at the end of the video and also down in the description. Personally, I'm more of a fan of using drones. If you get a drone track on YouTube, they have these great cello ones out there, so you can put one of those on. And what you do is you pick the note that you're trying to hit. So if I was doing three draw, which is a B, 
and I wanted to hit three whole step draw bend, that note is an A. And you can see those notes on any of those bending apps that uh, I will mention, like Harp Ninja, Harmonica Bending Trainer. And if you play that A as a drone track, you can just bend until you hit that note and then hold it. Your ears will tell you when it's right. Seriously, really try it. Using your ears is how we actually play the harmonica most of the time. That's how you know that things are in tune and you know that you're matching with the music. So training your ears in the context of bending can be very important. Finally, what do you do if nothing is working or one hole is being really stubborn? In that case, it's almost always an issue with your breathing. So in general, you should be playing with a slight yawn and breathe deep with your diaphragm. I have a video training you how to do this, but the short version is this. You stand up, you inhale, and then you exhale saying psss. If you do this before you play over a longer period of time, not just one day, but at least a week or more, you will learn how to activate your diaphragm. This is actually a singer's exercise, which will give you a much better chance at hitting those nasty bends. If you want some visual feedback on your bends, watch this video up here where I will go into a free app to help you train your bends. And if you want to work on your breathing in the way that I said, you can click this video down here, which will train you on that. I will see you next time. Jonah out.